I'm not dead yet. It's me, Chili, and I'm back. And we are going to fucking code up a storm here. I am ready. My code boner is so hard, you don't even know. I said my code boner, not my cold boner. Save that one for when I'm a cadaver. So yeah, I put a poll up on the on the forums. People said they wanted to make a game. 70% of people, which is pretty... That's a pretty big margin. A majority, if you will. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a God, honest, full-fledged game type deal. And uh, I asked, you know, I asked you guys on the forums what uh, what we should call the game. And I must say, I'm a little disappointed. I expect a little more maturity from you guys, but uh, uh, definitely lacking in sophistication here. Uh, and for some of you, I would say, I would possibly recommend seeking some professional help. You might have some sort of like Tourette syndrome type uh, malaffliction. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm not really qualified to give out that kind of advice, but anyways, it's been a while. I've been away. Shit has happened. My hard drive exploded and lots of tutorial stuff went fucking bye-bye. Which is, uh, I'm kind of pissed off about that. But it's also kind of my own fault, so I can't be too salty. What do you say? Live and learn, and then get loves. But I'm back now. I've got it all, I've got it all set up. My code boner is ready. And we're going to name this project Hugs. Because I, I am, I'm a man who is secure in his masculinity. And so I can express the tender feelings that I have. And I think hugs, uh, they, they evoke the warm affection that I feel for all you guys. I would give you all guys, you know, big hugs. But I am afraid that perhaps my, uh, my code boner might poke through. And uh, that, would be, that would be awkward for everyone, so... I'm sitting here right now in my underwear and socks recording, so... You guys, just just be happy that I don't have a webcam. That would be unfortunate for everyone, really. That being said, I guess I should talk about what the game is actually going to be about. That might, that might have some bearing on future discussions relating to this series. So, I've mentioned before... It's uh, it's going to be based on the advanced series engine that we made, which is called Thrust. And it's going to be a racer game, I've decided. I actually had the idea for that for a while, and then I forgot I had the idea. But then I remembered again. So we're going to make a racing game. Space, racing in space, with the end with the physics engine based on what we made for the thrust engine of the advanced series. Now in the beginning, it's gonna be based on time trial. Why time trial? Because it's super easy and you don't need to code any AI agents or anything. You don't need to code any multiplayer. So it'll be a good starting point. But later on. We we'll want to be doing versus, uh, human, local, and AI, and maybe even internet if people really want it, because it's going to take a while if we implement netcode, but it's an idea. Now the, the game is very simple, you go around the track, just like any other racing game. However, normal racing games with like cars and shit, they've got Tires and asphalt, so you can turn. You can convert uh, your kinetic energy in one direction into kinetic energy in another direction. But in space, you can't really do that shit because you've got nothing to turn on. It's all empty vacuum. So what you've got to do is if you want to turn from this into this, you need to, first of all, cancel this velocity 
and then add this. So you'd need something uh, like this. If you want to turn from here to here, you'd need to thrust in this direction. And it's a kind of a slow, tedious process. It's, it's very fiddly. If you've ever played uh, Kerbal Space Program, you know what I'm talking about. It requires a, uh, a lot of finesse. So it's going to be interesting. Thrust. Not trust. Thrust. Physics. As a main game element. As opposed to like, you know, turning physics of a wheel. Or, you know, the, the uh, control surfaces of an airplane. Next thing is you're going to be able to ricochet off the walls. And that would allow you, for example, let's say you've got a, a turn like this. You can just ricochet off that motherfucker and you can keep all of your kinetic energy or most of it. And that's a pretty good maneuver. Only there's going to be shields and you might lose some shields when you bounce off the walls, there's a trade-off there. You've got to decide based on the angle, based on your speed, your remaining shields, whether you want to make a uh, ricochet maneuver or a thrust maneuver. So that'll make the, uh, the meta a little more interesting, but there's more. Because this game is going to have motherfucking black holes up in this bitch, woo! I just made a Ric Flair noise there, woo! Anyways, the black hole is going to allow you to make a turn, a gravity turn, keeping your kinetic energy while also keeping your shields. The trade-off is that if you fuck it up, you've got to have your trajectory just perfect, because if your trajectory is too close, if the black hole is too strong, you're going to get sucked in and maybe hit the wall. If it's too weak, you're not going to get an tight enough turn radius, you're going to hit this wall. And if it's really strong, you might get sucked right into that motherfucker, and who knows what's going to happen then. It ain't going to be pretty, that's all I got to say. So yeah, that's the basics of the game. There's also going to be shit like items, maybe? Obstacles? Uh, enemies, like not other racers, but just enemies that get in your motherfucking way, and you got to shoot that shit. And all sorts of other crazy crap that I haven't even thought of yet. But... It all depends. Nothing's set in stone. This is going to be a journey that we take together. Now, we're going to take that journey in a different manner than we have previously, up until this point. We're going to use GitHub. If you don't know what GitHub is, maybe you should like stop the video and Google GitHub. And also, maybe you should Google Git, because that's what GitHub is based on, if you can see. Um, anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that... Uh, I've lost my, uh, my eloquence. That, or what little eloquence I had after not recording for a couple of months. It'll come back, maybe. The thing about living in Japan and not speaking English on a daily basics, basis is you forget how to speak English, which is interesting. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. GitHub. We're going to put our code on GitHub. And what I'm going to do is every tutorial, uh, I'm going to create a new branch. And so you will be able to load up the code at any point along the video series. And you will have the code at the end of that video that you can run. So that'll make lives, it'll make a lot of things a lot easier. That being said, I still firmly, of course, believe that you should be coding this shit yourself. The whole reason I haven't uploaded code for every episode in the beginner series and in the intermediate series is because you gotta code this shit yourself if you're not gonna learn it. And a lot of beginners, what they'll do is they'll just download the code, they'll compile it, They'll run it, and they'll be like, yep, yeah, that works. Oh, I've learned a lot today. No, you have learned exactly Jack and shit and Jack left town. But we are now past the quote-unquote advanced series, which is just a name that I basically pulled out of my ass and labeled 
the videos with. But that being said, I expect that people now can make these decisions for themselves. If you're the kind of person who's not going to code the shit up, then you're never going to code it up. And uh, I'm just going to give you the code now and do whatever. Because there are a lot of people who don't really need to code this shit. And they're just watching the videos basically for the for the for the shits and giggles they enjoy my witty repartee and my uh my amazing skill with the pen tablet yeah so anyways i'm just going to give you guys the code and it's going to make life easier there's lots of other cool things that will happen but that's that's another story so git you're going to have to learn a little bit about git i have a video I will link the video in the description, which is going to be down here somewhere. Right down here. And it's a little tutorial on Git. It was made for a different project, but it might give you an idea. I would also recommend looking up other videos on Git if you're lost. And I would recommend if you are still lost, asking questions on the forum and maybe someone will help you. Uh, but I'm not going to give a super detailed uh, tutorial on all the things you need to know about Git. I will, however, walk you through the process of uh, downloading the code for this series. Oh, and by the way, I will also put the code up on the web page, on the, uh, the forum. But it won't be updated for every tutorial on the forum. It'll only be the beginning code. So where is that? That's here. So you'll get the beginning code, but that's it. If you want the code for every single lesson, you'll have to use git. So let's get let's get on with it. Heh heh heh. Oh shit. I forgot to do something. Wait a second. All right, I'm back and I did the thing that I needed to do. So I want you to open up Visual Studio Express 2013. And you want to go, you might not have it, but you want to go to Solution, no wait, not Solution. You want to go to Team Explorer here. You open this motherfucker up. And you want to go to Connect to Team Projects. And you want to go to Local Git Repositories. Now you might not have this, or you might have something else here. And you might have to install Git Tools. And it's not that hard, there's a link for that within Visual Studio. If you don't have it installed, it'll tell you somewhere to do that. Uh, and I think I also go over that in the video that I link in the description, but I'm not sure. But if not, there's also tutorials on the web on how to install the Git tools for Visual Studio Express. So once you have that set up, uh, you'll have your local Git repositories. It should be empty, unlike mine. You want to go clone. And you want to put your the folder, your local folder, where you're going to have your local repository. Not suppository. That's a different thing. Repository and suppository are different. The way to remember the difference is suppository goes in your butt and repository goes in your computer. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to GitHub, Planet Chili, Hugs. And that is where you are going to get the URL for the repository. I'll link this in the description as well. And you place that here. And you'll go clone. And that will clone the repository from the remote uh, server, which is on GitHub, to your local Git server, which is on your machine. Then you want to double click on this, hugs, and that will change your uh, your solution, your source control project to hugs. And then you want to open up the solution. And now you have the project, the solution all open up. You can check it out. It's basically what we had with the uh, with the advanced series when we left it. I got this code from Albino Pap Papa from the forums and I kind of massaged it into the form that I wanted to use. So you guys can thank Albino Papa for this because my fucking hard drive explode. Let's build the solution. 
There you go. And here you have it. Wait, let's move it into the screen so you can see it better. And there you have it. This is what we're going to start with. It's basically what we had. I made some minor modifications here and there. But it is what you are familiar with if you have finished the Advanced series. And we're going to build on from this in the next lesson. Uh, I won't spoil what that's going to be. That will be coming up very soon because I've already got the code done. All I need to do is record the video. But that's another story. So, I will see you guys later, and uh, let's make a fucking game!